In this video, you're going to learn three ways to strategically use video to differentiate yourself from your competition. My name is Kevin Mendoza and I help business owners and entrepreneurs utilize video so they can build their online brands and create business opportunities. So if you're looking to use video in your marketing strategies this year, follow me for more videos just like this one. Right now, you might be relying on cold calling or email prospecting to feed your business. This is understandable because how else will potential clients find you if you don't don't introduce yourself first. And this is fine for building awareness of your existence because you're letting people know that, hey, I'm here. The problem with this is everybody's doing it. And if everyone is doing it, no one has an advantage over anyone else. Everyone's special, Dash, which is another way of saying no one is. Until you do something differently, you are competing for your prospect's attention against everyone else who's doing the exact same thing you're doing, which in a nutshell is most likely giving an introduction telling them what you do, leaving your contact info if they ever need your services. Not bad, but I think we could do a whole lot better. If anyone is like everyone, what's the first thing we do when we receive a business's contact info? I'll give you a hint, it is not contact them for their services. We like to do a little research first, don't we? We look up their website, their Facebook profile, their Instagram page to find out a little bit more information on who we're potentially dealing with. And it's on these platforms where businesses are missing out on a huge opportunity to communicate something of value to whoever lands on their page. So instead of a written biography, a list of accomplishments, a series of headshots like everyone else already has, here are three ways to leverage video on those pages so you can differentiate yourself from your competition. Number one, be an expert. The easiest way to come off as an expert in your field is to educate your audience on the process of what it is you do. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't even have to be the entire process. You can take just one aspect of what it is you do and then walk them through that part. For example, I work with a lot of real estate agents and instead of them making a video on the entire transaction from start to finish, maybe they can make a quick video on how to get approved for a mortgage. Something bite-sized so it's digestible to the viewer, but also of high value so they actually learn something from you. The reason why I highly recommend doing this in video form is because no one looks more like an expert than someone who can speak confidently in front of a camera. Number two, share your story. People will remember stories more so than they will remember facts and figures. They will not remember how many awards or accomplishments your business has received, nor will they care, but they will remember an interesting story about your business and therefore they will remember you. A very effective story is always an origin story. Why did you start the business? Because according to leadership expert and author of Start With Why, Simon Sinek says, people, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And if you talk about what you believe, you will attract those who believe what you believe. And I find this to be very powerful. When people know your why, they feel that much closer to you and people like doing business with other people who they know on a personal level. Number three, give your sales presentation Again, when they inevitably find you on the internet, this is your second opportunity to give your sales presentation. The first time was either the cold call, the email, or however you found your prospect initially. The second time will undoubtedly be on your webpage through video. Except this time, you're in complete control over the flow of the conversation because it is going to be completely one-sided your side. Sales calls do have their place. You have the advantage of feeling out and responding to your prospect's hesitations or rejections, and then you can steer the conversation in a more favorable direction. But since calls are a dialogue in which your responses are dependent on my responses, you may not be able to say what you want to say when you want to say it. However, with video, your presentation is whatever you want it to be. And you can add graphics, text, music, sound effects, anything to either enhance the experience or to emphasize key points. You just learned three ways to strategically leverage video to differentiate yourself from your competition. If you're in the tri-state area and you're looking for someone to help you film these types of videos, I know a guy. This is Kevin Mendoza and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh,